Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity, and today we are going to go ahead and do the thing that I was supposed to do last weekend, but it happened to be my uh, wife's birthday weekend, and then we had sickness, and then we had Easter, and we had all sorts of stuff going on, uh, so I couldn't get it done last week, but uh, this week we're going to go ahead, or today, we're going to go ahead and take apart the ruckus, get the frame, the seat, and the other miscellaneous pieces, uh, pack them up, and take them over to the powder coater. But first, we have to take the bikes out of the garage. So let's go ahead and take care of that, and then we'll go ahead into the garage and start disassembling the ruckus into pieces. All right, as a quick overview, we have to disconnect all this, take the suspension off, take the lights off, disconnect the motor mounts, the seat, take it off the main frame, and then I need this powder coated too. I'm gonna get that taken, hopefully, maybe I could do the, I don't know, I'll leave that black. And then, uh, I don't think I wanna do the powder coating of the, the uh, motor mount, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna take all those pieces apart. They gotta take the motor mount front piece that connects up here and take it off and other miscellaneous things connected to the body right now yeah shouldn't be that bad and then at the same time um where is it oh at the same time i'm gonna have these powder coated too and what is this this is the the front pegs it goes up here bolt it to the body and then you have the, the pegs for, fr for the front of the bike, right there. And this will be black or orange? Probably black. And then while it's apart, I'll start doing some tucking. And then I will take the original, where is it? Well, anyways, I can't find it, but I'll take the, or the plastic piece that was down here and, and trim it so that, it, oh no. Okay, it'll trim it so I can get it to fit in here. So I can use this to cover again because um, it's not very pretty. But I think I should be able to also use the front part right up here and put a cup holder in the front of the seat frame. But we'll see. Let's go ahead. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a time lapse uh, taking this apart. Uh, I'll pause in between a few pieces. Um, but yeah, let's get it apart and then uh, go over the colors we want to do with everything. Okay, so we separated the motor from the bike. There's the tank and the wiring. Uh, it's like in two pieces minus the middle frame. Uh, the unfortunate part of the process is when I, I disconnected my, my tail light. 
my LED strip light, the uh, cable came on, came, stripped off. So I have to look inside here to strap it back in again. But for the most part, the motor's pretty clean. I will get to a little bit of polishing on the back wheel and stuff like that. Maybe a little bit of cleanup under here. Now uh, here's all the screws, the the bolts, and they're all labeled, and they're all little bags, so I know what goes where. Because the problem with uh, this this build is that as soon as I get the frame and stuff back, I gotta put it back together right away. Um, then I got this this guy right here helping me. Say hi, and then. Here's the pieces. I still have to take the rest of the seat bracket off. Um, here's the mount for the shock. Um, this is going to be orange. I'm going to take this off and have them do this black if it's possible. I don't know if it's possible. This will be black. And the frame will be orange. And the motor mount will be black. And here's the little clamps that go to it. Hopefully they can do that too. But, some of these screws look pretty toasty. So, we have the ultrasonic cleaner. We're gonna soak some of these parts in it and give it a good uh, sonic blast. If anyone knows who uh, Guile is from Street Fighter. So let's go ahead and finish taking these pieces apart and then we'll get them to the powder coater. All right, we completed putting everything in the back of the car. We're headed to go drop it off over at the uh, the uh, powder coater. So give us just a second and we'll be right there. Okay, so we finished uh, dropping the parts off, right? And did you meet any people there? Yes, I did. Who did you meet? Um, Some I'm, little kids? Yeah, yeah, the powder coater is in Katie. Now, I've seen his work done before and it is, it's spectacular. Then he showed me some samples of the bikes he has inside, also spectacular. I will leave a link in the description to his Facebook page if you are in the Houston area in the Katy area, anywhere in the Houston area because it's worth it to go over there. Uh, International Orange is what he's gonna order me. Um, and he's got all the equipment that he needs. I, I saw it, I just, I didn't get permission to record so I didn't, I didn't really walk in there and yes. be like record everything, yes. right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this is part one, or uh, episode one for the uh, powder coating of the frame. Hopefully I'll have everything ready and then I'll be able to uh, I have it ready for the Saturday show, but you know, that's the goal. Anyways, thank you for watching. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to like. And subscribe. And subscribe. Say, I'll see you in the next one. And smash that like button. Smash that like, oh, I forgot. Smash that like, good job. And I guess YouTube permeates our, our kids' culture. Anyways, have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hope you have a good day.